Okay, next project. I have some oak. These two are, are uh, uh, two different uh, kinds of oak on here recycled. Uh, some mahogany, white ash, and then this is red oak that is uh, pieced together. That it has these, uh, oh, what is that? Finger joints. Uh, I don't know if you can see it in between there. And uh, that is what I made this guy out of. So, and I like the wood. And this is actually one of the fingers. So, I thought it was pretty cool stuff. So, that along with some half inch uh, steel bar. So, with that, that is the next project. So, we'll see you in a little bit. So we made it to the next step on there. See in the far corner here we have the uh, uh, the oak uh, that was recycled that actually came from an old desk. We have the mahogany and ash and then this is the uh, red oak. So next step on there is uh, get the glue bot out, uh, some glue and a whole pile of clamps. So uh, yeah here comes the fun part. See you shortly. Of course you can never have too many clamps. Uh, I don't know if anybody else does this. Uh, I probably do and i just thinking out loud. Uh, but I go ahead. So I glued it up and I'm using, uh, let's see, silicone brush on there. It's real nice because uh, uh, you let it dry just like that and then after it does you pull out the booger and that's pretty cool. And then the other side is a flat paddle. Uh, but with the glue up on here I go ahead I put the uh, two quick clamps on there the two uh, plastic ones. Um, not a huge fan of the actual clamp though. They're knockoffs and they're kind of junky and I keep breaking them. I'm going to be replacing them with other ones. Hello! But uh, these uh, wooden ones I've had uh, gosh um, 20 plus years and uh, they're still kicking it uh, like Bruce Lee. But uh, uh, so quick clamps on there. Those will come off and uh, so I put the three on here these two will come off, then I can go to the next and uh, put clamps on there. And uh, then at that point I can put uh, some lesser ones that take more fussing than uh, fiddling to do. But I'll scrape the glue off here and we'll be back again. Okay, next thing up is cutting the uh, half inch steel bar. A couple ways you can do that. Uh, you can do it with a hand hacksaw. Uh, let's see, you can do it with a uh, sawzall. Uh, they make uh, metal uh, or bimetal blades and uh, works, works real well. Uh, you just make sure you clamp it real well and you get into the cut in there. Hold it real tight so that you're not jiggling and getting the blade all around. Um, or if you have an angle grinder, which I do, uh, you can use a, a cutoff disc. So at this point I'll use the uh, cutoff disc. I'll just uh, make sure that I'm extra clean in here with uh, sawdust and I will be back. Okay, so the metal is now cut. Uh, these, uh, for the record, are down to uh, uh, 10 inches. Uh, it's half inch square. It's uh, mild steel. Uh, this is my vise. Uh, quite a few years ago, I went ahead and I treated myself. Uh, it's a really nice vise. This is kind of cool. It will uh, tip up sideways, flip uh, all kinds of directions. It's actually a pipe vise. Uh, let's see. But yeah, make sure you're safe. Uh, wear uh, eye protection because when you're working with metal, uh, it's no joke. Uh, it's it's not like sawdust. Uh, ear protection and actually have uh, uh, face protection or um, um, oh what is that? Uh, breathing breathing protection. Uh, but the earplugs work really well. So these have all been deburred. Uh, could have been done with a file sandpaper. Uh, could have done with a belt sander or could have done with my grinder. But uh, Here's the cutoff disc. Here I've got another one. They multiply. They're twinsies. Uh, this one has a oh, it's a, a metal uh, wheel. This one says it's a 24 grit. Uh, these are super cheap. Uh, are they the best quality in the world? No. However, um, I bought uh, actually three of them. So when I was doing a, um, a welding project, I might get back to that one of these years. It was a lot easier. Um, I had to do three steps. I had to uh, cut, uh, uh, deburr, or grind, and then sand. Well, a lot of times on the metal, you'd have to go ahead and uh, clean it up before you could do those steps. So I would go ahead and sand it, cut it, grind it, weld it, grind it, weld it, grind it, and uh, repeat. 
So, uh, but it works out. And over there, I do have a fire extinguisher. So, yay, I even brought it up uh, off from the uh, floor. But uh, here's the rest of my messy shop I will show. Got some pen blanks up there and uh, stuffs. So, I will catch you shortly. We are to the next stuff. However, I did want to say that uh, while working on metal in the shop on there, obviously shop safety, no lie, don't want to burn the house down. Fire extinguisher. And up at the ceiling here, I have a portable, uh, oh, well, I consider it portable, but a smoke detector. Uh, this is one that uh, I can pull down uh, if necessary. And there's times, yeah, I'll uh, set a little smoke off. I need to grab it and, and reset it. But uh, I can move that around in the ceiling wherever I'm working. And I'll be down here a bit before I call it a night. Um, I'm not endorsing any brands. However, this little uh, kit here from these guys. And actually pretty cool. Uh, my sister got this for me. It's a Christmas present a couple years ago. And after I found it again, <laughs> um, I've been using it. Uh, this is a rubber silicone tray that uh, you could pour um, glue directly into. And then uh, let it dry. And then uh, just uh, peel it back. And there's more than five pieces in this set. Because she also bought the uh, oh, extra spatulas and stuff. Uh, these little guys... Um, I don't do a lot of dowel or furniture work, but uh, these were cool. Uh, little rubber tips on there, and then uh, again the tips are silicone, they pop off again with these ends. And this brush is almost uh, ready to have boogers pulled out, but I'll leave it. But what I was going to mention is uh, that I, uh, uh, this set here, so there was, a, uh, I, did, I glued up two and two. These uh, four are going to be glued together, but what I did was I used... It comes with a cabinet scraper and it actually does a really good job at uh, cleaning up the uh, glue joint on here so that I can uh, put the uh, next layer on there and I get those reclamped. So that's where I'm at at this point. So, hasta la vista. Okay, <clears throat> Merry Christmas uh, 2016. Special delivery from the North Pole. Yay! So there was my entry in this year's 2016 Christmas Ornament Challenge. Yes, it is hanging on the tree amongst various items. And oh, look at that! Secret Santa came in. We have, let's see here, a red oak candle that's been uh, uh, segmented or actually laminated uh, together. So if I were to look at the end, there is four pieces going in there. A little message on the bottom. And copper ferrule, uh, epoxy. Uh, Done up with um, oh black powder coat uh, as a colorant and a square carbide cutter and the cutter on there uh, it's uh, drilled tapped lots of fun doing that and uh, it does have CA glue in there just to uh, keep it tight so if and when you need to update it uh, or uh, tw give it a twist go to the next edge uh, just heat it up and it'll pop right off so uh, Merry Christmas and uh, uh, from my house to yours hopefully everybody has a Merry Christmas take care.